Hey guys, hey, today on Bad Beast Barbecue, we're gonna be taking a look at a grill we picked up off of Amazon called the Iron Master Hibachi Style Grill. It's a little cast iron grill that's portable, and we're gonna check it out right after this. He's a bad beast on that barbecue on a grill of a smoker. He knows just what to do. He's a bad beast on that barbecue. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at the Iron Master Hibachi Style Grill that I picked up on Amazon. Uh, I think it was about $143, okay? You figure, out of all the grills that I have here, why would I pick up such a small hibachi style grill? I guess it's a little bit for nostalgic purposes. Uh, you know, when the wife and I first got married, we didn't have a whole lot of money. So our first grill was a little cheap hibachi style grill, okay, where you could, um, it had little hooks on it where you could adjust the level uh, two or three uh, levels high. And we used to cook pork chops and chicken and all type of stuff on there. So, you know, you know, we was barbecuing by any means necessary. So I saw this and I figured, man, this would be nice to have, man. It's portable, it's made out of cast iron, so it should make some good steaks and hamburgers and things because cast iron cooks very well, kind of like throwing it into a cast iron skillet, okay? And so we're gonna put it through its paces today, all right, first time cooking on it. All right, so this, uh, says it comes pre-seasoned, but we are going to uh, season it after it heats up with a little avocado oil uh, just to ensure that it's seasoned well, okay? So I'm going to bring you a little closer and let you check out all of the ins and outs of the grill before we start cooking. All right, guys, so this is the Iron Master CI-1608 pre-seasoned cast iron charcoal grill, okay? Um, it weighs 22 pounds, it's 16 inches by 10 inches, in size and it's supposed to be pre-seasoned cast iron okay so the different parts of it you got the cooking grate here and we've already washed the cooking grate so this is supposed to be pre-seasoned all right we'll put this on the side and then inside of it there is a another grate and this is the uh, charcoal grate that um you know, holds charcoal. Now you can't put charcoal below this and above this to have maximum charcoal inside of the cooker, okay? This is the fire bowl itself, and it has a little door here where you can lean out if you wanna put more charcoal in and keep this closed, okay? And then it has a sliding piece down here to regulate airflow, all right? So fully open, hot as you want it, and then you can control it by closing it down, okay? All right, guys, so you saw a close-up of all of the pieces to the uh, Iron Master cast iron grill. It comes with a couple of other accessories. Uh, it comes with a little hook with the coil handle so that you can open and close the door or open and close the air control slider without burning your hands. And it also comes with these little, I guess, heat-resistant handles in case I had to move it while it was uh, hot or while it was full of charcoal without burning my hands, okay? I probably wouldn't use these. I would probably suggest using some heat resistant gloves if you're gonna mess with this at all, moving it around, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it set up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my avocado oil. We're gonna put some lump charcoal in our basket and we're gonna, our basket does fit somewhat in here enough to get the charcoals lit up and then we're gonna get our vegetables and our steaks on, okay? So hey, hang around, let's go ahead and do this uh, Prep work in this cook, and I'll tell you my final thoughts on the Iron Master cast iron grill.
All right, guys, so we finished with our cook. We did a couple of steaks. We did some vegetables. We did a couple of burgers for the uh, wife, some soy burgers and stuff. Okay, so my initial impressions of the cast iron, uh, iron master, uh, cast iron grill is that uh, I'm not really that impressed. Um, I used Kamado Joe big block lump charcoal inside of it. To, uh, I thought that would give it a lot more heat, but the cast iron grate never got hot enough really to do a sear action on the steaks. Um, so I'm going to have to try to find a different fuel source or try to alter, you know, my method somehow. Okay. Uh, I had to use the, um, barbecue dragon to add extra air to the, the cooker in order to get the flames high enough to actually do some searing. Okay. So if I had to rate this on a scale from one to 10, I would probably give it a six and I'm probably being generous there, but, um, I think. I'll use it a little bit more, try some other methods and see if I can get it to the point to where it's cooked like it's supposed to cook. Um, but um, anyway, I'll put a link down in the description block if you guys want to check it out and stuff. But um, in comparison to any other grill that I have, this is probably um, going to probably get used the least. Um, I thought it was nice for the portability of it and uh, the, the nostalgic aspect of it and it being a hibachi style. Uh, but we'll see how it plant pans out uh, later on okay so but uh, I'll keep practicing with it and maybe eventually uh, I'll increase my rating of it but right now it's probably a six out of ten okay so anyway guys that's it hey thanks for joining us today hey if you got any questions or any comments or if you got one of these things and got some different uh, ideas or some suggestions on how I can improve its performance please don't hesitate to shoot me a comment okay Hey, and that's all we got time for today. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.